Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hello. This is Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out Lego The Hobbit Level 11 Barrels Out of Bond Free Play. And uh, we're going to make sure that... Uh, well, we're going to suggest that you pick up Saruman and Sauron, as well as the two times red brick. And uh, all the information for that can be found in our Preparing for Free Play video found in our Lego The Hobbit playlist. Or you can simply search for Preparing for Free Play, HTG, and Booyaka Shao. All right, so we're going to select Barrels Out of Bond, Free Play, and go ahead and select our characters. doesn't really matter which ones we pick because we have access to them all. And I don't use that quick select anyways. Ah, it's overrated. And right off the bat, we're going to smash everything in this back area. Not quite everything. There's a few things that are left unsmashed. But uh, we're going to basically try to swoop through and do a lot of this uh, story stuff. So that when we do all the collectibles, that they're all kind of clumped together. And not scattered in between with a bunch of jargon. So we're going to build up the anvil station. And then we're going to cut that out. So look at that. That was the quickest quick build you ever done seen, is it not? And we can see that there is one, uh, well, bow and arrow on the ground there. But we're going to skip that for right now and switch on over to our goblin friend and climb this wall and grab our first mini kit. Now, next on the list is going to be the schematic. This one was a little bit tricky. I, I, I think I got it figured out now, so hopefully I can guide you there. But essentially, you got to knock the old gold valve off. And it was actually requiring me to pick it up. Notice how the mithril is not sparkling. See, I'm trying to target it. It won't let me target it. I'm walking around. Now watch. As soon as I pick that thing up, bam, sparkles. So obviously there's some sort of trigger there. And now that I'm not holding it anymore, I can actually target it and blast it. So yoo -hoo! Schematic for you. All right. We got that. Now next thing's next. We're going to grab that uh, little grapple handle over here in the middle left. We can do that by switching to uh, old old Dory. And spam, 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 that button. And once you uh, pull it all the way out, it actually drops a key, which you can use in this back chest. So, oh, to the, yeah, treasure number one is now in our trove. That's right. And, okay, so you guys are probably going to remember this little moment here where you grab up on this little handle and it moves the barrel over and provides you with a nice target. Now, the goal here is to pull that handle down yet one more time, and it'll bring us another item. But in order to get that to work, we have to actually destroy this target, and it drops the barrel, and then the little swing arm moves back, as you can see. There it goes. And now it pulls the handle back up so we can jump up again, and bam! There we go. We got ourselves a uh, blue crystallite, and we're going to destroy it with our wizard of choice, who, let's see, if we can pick... If we can pick a character here, we're going to go ahead and go with... Who is it? Oh, it's Gandalf! Yay! Blast away! All right, once it drops down, smash it. I don't think it matters who you have. And then grab... Look, it's it's like it's like Marty the Moose. Hi, hey, everybody! <laughs> That's what it looks like to me, anyways. Maybe it's the Moobies logo. It says something about, like, the Elk Staff or something like that, but should have been the Stag Staff. That would have been cooler. Anyways... We're not too worried about Marty the Moose. And we're going to go back into the center area. And we're looking for the last barrel. You can see we got two of the three. And, uh, hey, right now is a good time for me to mention there are fast-forward quick links to all of the collectibles in this video and all of our free play videos, for that matter. So if you're looking for just the treasure items, maybe that's all you need, then go ahead and push the buttons down below for the treasure, and it'll take you right to the timeline of where those items are. Now, as you did see here, we did switch from uh, our whoever we were to Bilbo and put on the ring. Then we built the little fireplace, melted it down with one of the torches provided in the room, and that drops the last barrel, and we roll it into place, and then that kicks a little cutscene, which we have deleted. So here we are rolling around now, literally, rolling down the river. And our goal first is going to be to take out those mithril, well, the mithril rock on the right-hand side. I was going to say bricks, but it's clearly a big rock. And we got this kind of what seems to be like this never-ending slew of baddies that keep dropping in here. And basically, all I can say is just keep taking them out. And eventually, they'll slow down enough that you can switch to Sauron or pull out your firecracker bow and get your blast on. Now, for the record, I hate this jump. 
it's a funny angle again, and it's the camera's a little weird too. If you could look at it straight on, it would show that the little ledge that we're standing on is actually a foot to the right of where the actual jumpable ledge up above is. So again, funny angle. So try to get that, try to, try to jump up high and maybe to the, I don't know, push up on your controller while you do it, that'll get you there. Once you get all the way up though, there is a bell sitting there, which we'll come back to in a second. But there's also this giant wall, so use Dory and his human tether ball to go ahead and pull that down. And you can see there's a mini kit up top there, but there's also a slew of studs. So we're going to walk all the way up to the stairs, and somehow we end up missing the mini kit. To be honest, I was looking at my notes while I walked down and heard the <laughs> sound and thought I got it. But then I was like, wait a minute, I didn't get it. But now in the foreground, uh, now that we got uh, a couple of purple studs, some blues, and the mini kit, you can see that there's some handles on the left side of this big tall tree. We're going to climb those all the way to the top, and look at that. Some sort of an Easter basket present for us up here. We're going to smash it, because that's what we do out in the wilderness. We smash eggs. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. There, there's been three or four really cool treasure items. Like, you know, I often don't go and use the treasure items, but the last couple of games, uh, I've been finding some cool ones. The, the old egg slingshot, that's pretty sweet. There's one, uh, the old duck helmet, the duck hat, that's coming up. That's pretty sweet. Although, uh, I don't want to be known as a duck fan. I live in Oregon, and I am definitely a beaver believer, not a duck. So, anyways. Oh, yeah. All right, so you can see there's another bell up there. You can see it off in the distance. I'm targeting it. There's two shots on it. And third time's a charm, maybe? Yeah, yeah. All right, so two out of three bells toast. We're going to make our way up the stairs since we can't get up with all those baddies sitting there. we gotta, we got to get our bow and shoot that first, but we're going to do it as the story does rather than cheat with our Lego Legolas bow and arrow. And all the way up top, we can see, too, right there on the left-hand side of the screen, you can see a mini kit that we're going to dig up. But first, we're actually trying to get to this bell in the back, but we keep getting attacked by all these goldies. So keep fighting your way through it. Eventually, you'll get a little bit of a clear space, and you'll be able to take it out. Notice up top, we only have one of those gold guys back. All right, we got him. We got it done. All right, all right. So let's see here. We'll go ahead and make our way over to the left-hand side. Eventually, and here comes the cue for it, mini kit four. Now we're going to switch to Sam or simply pull out your uh, mithril shovel or whatnot, whatever you prefer to dig with. I myself, I'm a fan of the pyromaniac, Mr. Sam I am. All right, so I love how he uses the frying pan to dig things up too. He also uses, uses that to cook, so make sure, you know, make sure you don't ever eat anything that Mr. Sam cooks up for you. All right, here we go. We got another uh, another bad guy over here. We need to avoid all of his little minions and go straight for that crack. We'll do the old jump attack on the crack, and we'll knock him back. Woohoo! Come on, move it, move it. All right, Bulga Shao, he is done. Now it gives us the bow, which again we already had, but just for story's sake, we're gonna make our way down there now. Aim right up at that nice little target looking down on us and blast it. We can show. That's a pretty sweet domino effect there. All right, make your way all the way over. We're going to go ahead and blast through Goldie here as well as the couple of other baddies that have showed up. And now we're going to get up top. Now there's obviously a blue uh, glowing sphere over here. It's a big, uh, I don't know what it is. It's part of the tower. We're going to pull out a wizard of our choice. This time it happens to be Gandalf again. And he had his sword out, so we got a little button happy there and ended up selecting somebody else. But get back. It's kind of a weird one. You hit it and it starts to vibrate. It's all bam, and then it blows up and gives you mini kit number five. So thank you. Now we'll uh, go ahead and jump on the lever by pressing the icon indicated. And this opens the gates, and we get going. So, yes, this definitely looks like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and that's because uh, I kind of got hosed here. There was two or three laps that I made that they don't even jump on me, and then I finally did get them to jump on me, and it was all weird. So nothing happens during this part. So, again, you can use a quick link if you want to just jump ahead or uh, just hang out and maybe get a little nauseous or seasick from how fast this video is traveling around. 
kind of reminds you of like flushing the toilet or something, huh? It's all just round and round and round she goes. All right. So eventually you'll uh, knock all those dudes off and it will give you Mr. Barrel Man. He'll go tumbling down the hill. And there's a couple things in this. Now, first things first, before we do anything, I want to say do not jump and attack the bridge until you have gotten everything in this area because as soon as you knock that bridge it cues you and takes you out of here so very important that you don't take that out now that i've said that let's go ahead and take out the four sunflowers scattered throughout here there's number two. First one was in the front right corner right back there jump over that do not jump attack it do whatever you can to not hit the square button anywhere near that or if there's a different icon indicated because you're on something else then don't hit it Make your way all the way over to this left beach here, and uh, you'll find the other two yellow flowers. You'll also find a grapple hook, which we'll go ahead and pull now. And spoiler alert, down in the corner, it's another treasure. So this will actually wrap up our treasures here. And then, and then, we're going to make our way back. And there's actually one more mini kit uh, that's obvious, and then one that's not so obvious. So although it kind of seems like there's endless baddies here, Eventually, we have to take them all out, and that even includes the ones out in the water. So it even took me a half a second because even in my notes, it didn't say hop out into the water, or if it did, somehow I skipped over them and didn't read them. I don't, I don't want to discredit my notes, but uh, I definitely missed that memo and uh, was having a tr hard time figuring out where everything is. Now, here's the obvious one. You walked right by it already. Use your axe from the dwarf of your choice to go ahead and clear away the brush and then take out the crack. And then, uh, so I've actually sped this next little spot up even more than usual. I know this video is about five times back there, probably scared some of you as going around in circles. But uh, essentially what we want to do is we want to walk out and hit triangle. So we want to we select the other character. He's out in a barrel right now, and he can actually access the guy out in the water. So like I said, we have to kill everybody in this area. And we can't really get to that guy. And unfortunately, it won't let us target him or anything. It's one of those dudes that jumps on you and you got to hit the quick time event. So you got to spam like square, 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 or circle, 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 or XXX, or AAA, BBB, Y, Y, Y. I don't know, whatever. So we're still kind of struggling, going, oh no, what do we do? Of course, panic's setting in because we know we're recording and we're trying to get it as perfect as possible for you guys. But I hightail it over to the right-hand side, and once I get on here, I realize, oh, wait, this is my buddy out there, and I hit the button and switch out. So as soon as I do, I get attacked. There are actually three of these orcs that come out and uh, try to attack you, so make sure that uh, you're patient enough and you kind of roll around, and all three will jump out and get you. So here's number two, and the third one that hops out will actually come and bring you a nice mini kit. So that's a nice little gift. It's like, here, we're going to give you a sword to your face, and we'll take that. Thank you. And here he comes. Thank you. It's kind of blurred out by my uh, nice face. I'm aware of what player I am. Not that it even matters at the moment. But uh, there it is. And Booyaka Shao. So make sure you take out everybody and grab everything before this next move we're about to do, which is the old jump attack on the bridge, which will set us into the next area and uh, actually cue us into the last couple of mini kits here. So we's in the home stretch now, the peoples. All right, so here we go. This is very important. You can hop around with anybody. You can be any character at this point. I use Legolas because he's got an arrow, and I'm going to use the arrows in a minute. But you can be anybody, but the key is to stay on the right-hand side. I know sometimes I end up on the left, but if you notice, I keep jumping right, and eventually you'll come around to this guy fishing who seems to be snoozing, and we'll grab his mini kit. Now, shortly thereafter, there are a bunch of beehives. We're going to take five of those out, which will yield us the final mini kit now it's very important here again do not kill all 20 orcs before getting the mini kit on the fishing pole and taking out the five beehives because it will kill you in and uh that'll be it so that, that'll kill you into the final total screen in the last cutscene. so make sure that you get them all and if you miss them don't worry one thing i haven't brought up yet is that this is a circle just like the toilet bowl above us that we were stuck in so uh, if you guys miss one or whatever, just, uh, you know, be patient. You'll make your way around again. So I already missed one or two of the beehives in the very beginning, and now I'm just circling around to get the last one, and here she blows. And I almost don't get it. Oh, that would have sucked if I had to make another lap, but I didn't. I got it, and booyaka shao. So 
I did speed it up a little bit extra here as we go down, and we're just going to take down the last couple of orcs along the side there. Oh, I wish I would have got the fisherman. That would have been a little icing on the cake for us there, huh? All right, there's the last two. Bam. All right, cut scene removed. Sort of. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and jump into the final uh, total screen here. So barrels out of bond, free play, level complete. We got a handful of studs for doing it. And, uh, well, actually, we got a handful of studs along the way while doing it, I should say. And it was more than enough to get the Master Burglar, mostly because we're awesome, but partially because of that red two-time stud multiplier. And the Agapult was pretty awesome, I got to say. I liked that one quite a lot. And there's the old Elk Mallet. I still think it looks more like Marty the Moose. And don't forget about the old Mithril Pickaxe. We can put that to use at some point, I'm sure. And, of course, 10 mini kits will build us something cool, right? It's nice seeing them built up all at once. Oh, it looks like the little uh, drop space in where the barrels were where we fell down or something similar to that. Kind of a, a garbage disposal of Middle Earth times, if you will. And all four of the Mithril's for completing all of the awesomeness that is that level. And that brings us to the final, final, final screen, which, uh, oh, to the end. Yeah. That'll do it for Lego The Hobbit, level 11, barrels out of bond, free play. Uh, I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hearing me say head on over there, but you know what? It's working. You guys are doing just that. There's a lot of you here on YouTube that watch our videos every day, and a lot of you use Facebook and Twitter and other things, but uh, you still haven't found us over there. So head on over to Facebook, Twitter, uh, even commenting down below is always awesome as well. We try to get to as many of those questions and get answers as quickly as possible every day. And happythumbsgaming.com is available too. I swear, every time I plug the website and somebody watches this part, uh, you guys show up and you end up using our store and, and uh, buying some stickers. So that's awesome. You guys are showing some serious love. We really do appreciate that. And uh, we look forward to all those picture submittals for our gallery of Thumby and Booyika Shao sightings. So on that note, let's go ahead and cut it. As always, until next time. Goodbye, I say.